Welcome back. Welcome to another exciting episode of Backpacker Recipe Challenge. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. What does that even mean? Great question. Well, I'm going to take a classic package meal and put it up against Monte Boca. And to see if I can match this package meal flavor without having to eat out of a bag. So, let's see what happens. Hey, oh, Chef Corso, Monte Boca. I'm here to put you on the path to amazing meals on your outdoor treks. And I am here in the mossy forest of Olympic National Park, just next to Lake Crescent. A little bit chilly of a morning this morning. Got some, got some nice, nice snow up on the ridge line up there. But we're here for Backpacker Recipe Challenge. So it's up to me to try to match this flavor pro profile of a package meal in 10 ingredients or less, ready in 30 minutes or less with fresh, tasty, and most importantly, packable ingredients. Because it's always important to be mindful of packing when you're going out on your treks. But I'm a little bit pissed today because if you know me and if you know any of these videos, you know that I do not like package meals. And I had to buy two, two for this. So what I do for you and what I do for these videos, because I really didn't want to do this, but I bought two so we can have a proper flavor comparison when we're talking about our recipe here today and the, the the recipe that we're trying to match today is chicken fettuccine alfredo a classic inside and outside but a great backpacker meal but these ones aren't really really that great so what we're going to do is we're going to boil up these bags see how they taste and also show you an option that uh, hopefully can can beat the the flavors of these guys but Let's get cooking. So while we're waiting for our package meals to hydrate and both take about 10 minutes based on the package instructions, we're going to talk about ingredient callouts for the Monte Boca match for chicken fettuccine Alfredo. So for the noodles that I'm using, I am using something tastier than these smaller little rotini ones. Uh, and I'm using a, a, a nice proper deli. It's going to take a, a few minutes to, to boil up, but I really love the, the thickness of the noodles. You can use fettuccine, you can use orzo, you can use spaghetti, whatever you want. And for any fettuccine sauce, inside or outside, it needs two things. It needs creaminess and it needs cheesiness. So for our creamy, we're going to use some non-fat dry milk powder. But the thing about that is it doesn't have a whole lot of fat. So we are gonna go ahead and try to use some coconut oil. This is actually a really great fat to bring along because it's safe, it's solid. You just need to pack, be able to pack it along with you. But I'm gonna throw that in there for a little bit of richness. It also sometimes comes in these pouches too. And for our cheesiness, I've go ahead and prepared some real Parmesan cheese here all nice and grated. And I also sometimes like to throw in a little bit of extra cheesiness with these baby bells. But we're gonna go ahead and add some spices too. So we've got some salt and garlic powder in here, a little bit of ground mustard or a mustard packet. Give us a little bit of zing in there. We've got our packaged chicken, a little bit of lemon for freshness and something to thicken it up. And in here, we've got some cornstarch or you could easily use some arrowroot powder. I don't necessarily recommend using flour here because it gets a little bit gloppy and it's just not my preferred way to, to thicken stuff on the trail. But another note on our Parmesan cheese here, you could easily use the uh, pre-done pre Parmesan cheese. I kind of like having the real stuff, but why I like using the real stuff over that, that package stuff is make sure that you check out the label on your pre-grated Parmesan cheese. And I'm talking about the one that's usually on the shelf in the pasta aisle because sometimes there's cellulose in there 
and not that cellulose is going to kill you but it's not cheese and it's usually a plant or tree fiber that they're adding in to kind of bulk it up so when i'm buying my parmesan cheese i kind of like mine 100 percent parmesan but check the label of the the product that you have but let's get cooking and see how this comes together and i'm going to start with about eight to ten ounces of water and i know that's a little bit different than when we're cooking pasta inside but when we're cooking pasta outside, we don't need to have this big amount of water that is continually going over the pasta and dissipating some of that starch. What I actually want is to keep some of that starch and also just monitor how much water I'm, I'm using because usually that's kind of at a premium on the trail, but some of these stoves just don't have that much capacity to be able to cook up this big vat of boiling water. And speaking about stoves here, you might be noticing that I am cooking on a jet boil here today. This is a jet boil stash. And from one of my last videos, jet boil saw it and uh, sent me a couple of options so I could test to see if it can, uh, you know, maybe change my mind. And for me, I like throwing the spices here in with the water, especially the garlic, because it can start to soak in and flavor our pasta. And don't worry about these. These will soften up pretty quick and everything will be under the water pretty close to it within a minute or two. While this is boiling, let's do a calorie, price, and weight comparison. So these noodles are cooking up pretty fast. And those are looking pretty, pretty tasty and they were able to absorb up some of that water. You can always add more water too, or if you have too much, you to go ahead and dispose of it safely or drink it. But we're gonna add some of our fat, coconut oil, and fat is a great way to add some nice, quick, easy calories on the trail rather than just sugar. Go ahead and add our chicken that in there and warm that up looking like a nice bowl coming together and we're gonna add a teeny bit of our cornstarch I'm just gonna start with a teaspoon give it a nice stir and you can always add more but make sure that you're at a nice simmer because that cornstarch and most of your thickeners need that heat to be able to activate and our last flavor components a little bit of cheese a lot of cheese and go ahead and turn the heat off here so we don't scorch the bottom. And, you know, I just wrapped this up in some parchment paper here today, but I usually do use a Ziploc or another container. But if you do have a fire, you can just go ahead and throw it right in there. And that cheese will help thicken up our sauce as well. And the last thing we're gonna add to bring this all together, is a little squeeze of lemon, a little bit of freshness. Oh man, that smells really good in the woods here, sitting by the moss. Wow. Well, that is looking pretty darn tasty to me. I think it's time we taste them and see who wins. All right, it's time to taste. First up, option one. Well, our pasta is definitely hydrated. And it looks pretty creamy. There actually is some larger chunks of chicken than I was expecting. Let's give it a try. Mm -hmm. I, will, I will be honest with you, it's not terrible. The chicken is a little chewy, a little odd texture. Creaminess is okay. This is a pretty large portion, which is kind of nice. A little bit of green, little parsley flakes in there to make you feel like you're eating something real. So I will say this is not, not completely awful. It's also not that good. There's nothing that memorable about this, but I have eaten this before and other packaged meals on trips. And once I'm done with this 
huge portion, it does not make my belly feel all that good with all the salt and all the preservatives. But that's option one. Option two. Hmm, interesting. Well, I might have added just a little bit too much water. It's a little bit soupier. We've got the rotini, rotini pieces. A little bit better smell than the other one. Get a little bit more Alfredo y flavor here. A little bit cleaner. So the portion overall is a little bit smaller, which is interesting because this is the, the most expensive one. Where, frankly, I probably want like another cup of this if I had a long day on the trail. But this is slightly better than option one. I don't really want to eat this on a regular basis, but not bad. And now to the Monte Boca recipe. So we've got a really nice sized portion in this stash here. And man, it is definitely cheesy. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm. It's definitely cheesier. And I love that little freshness of lemon on there. And there is something about these bigger noodles, whether that is fettuccine or these parpadelli or something like that. It does taste a little bit more satisfying than the smaller pieces. And overall, from a time comparison, they're about the same. 10, maybe an extra five minutes to cook up these larger noodles. And you might be asking, Man, that coconut, that seems like a weird ingredient to add. And actually, it, it complements the, the cheesiness pretty well. There's a little bit light, light coconut flavor in there, but it's quite tasty. But the other thing that I like to do with this fettuccine Alfredo recipe is add a little bit more freshness and a little bit more crunch. And the other thing I like about the, adding the fresh veggies is that it can give you a little bit more micronutrients and freshness along the way, which is really important for any hike out there that is sometimes lacking in some of those packaged meals. But get out there and try this fettuccine Alfredo recipe. Let me know how you like it. Let me know if you want to throw away your packaged meals and just cook with this one. I get the packaged meals are easy, but sometimes the flavor doesn't really taste all that great. But get out there. Boca Boca.